welcome back. So we're going to start off with a 30 ounce skinny straight from Hog. And I am showing you once again how I um, set my cups up for success as far as painting goes. I make sure that the I take a little bit of the stick off of the tape and I stick it inside of the rim there and make sure that I've covered the rim so that when I take it outside and I spray paint it, none of that paint gets inside. It makes it a lot easier to clean up later. So we're going to put a little bit of epoxy on here and then I'm going to take Bougie Bling from Bougie Glitter Boutique and it is a stunning color. I don't, I don't even know if it's like what kind of color it is, iridescent, sparkly, but it is absolutely gorgeous and when you see it underneath all of this stuff, it just gives you the perfect shimmer. So I let that dry for probably three or four hours and I went in with a coat of Crystal Lac. And I usually do this, like do the glittering in the morning and then I let it dry. And then I come in in the evening before bed and come in and do a coat of this Crystal Lac glitter glue just to seal it up to make sure that we are getting a really nice coat of epoxy um, for our first coat. Um, it also kind of helps glitter from traveling if you're doing a lot of cups so you don't have a bunch of glitter on your hand on your glove in your epoxy or whatever so that's why I like to seal them up and anyway so I do that and then I let it sit overnight and then I come in in the morning and put that first coat of epoxy on and this is the first coat of epoxy but what I'm gonna do is uh, put this coat on I will put another coat on I'll probably do some sanding get it nice and smooth and then put a f not a final coat but a final coat before I do all of the decals because everything I'm going to be doing is going to be somewhat see-through and so you're going to need a really nice smooth surface in order to put all of these applications water slide uh, decals and the uh the clear wrap vinyl that I'm going to put on the bottom. So that's why I just made sure that this had a really nice smooth finish. So now I'm taking this vinyl from Banff. I got it in um, a box that she had recently. And this is see-through um, to a point. I mean, it's still, you know, colorful and everything. But but it, it is like a clear uh, vinyl. So you will be able to see what's underneath. And so that's why I added this beautiful glitter all over, you know, this whole cup because I knew that, uh, you know, starting with that glitter base was going to give us just a gorgeous, you know, shine coming from underneath. So I will warn y'all with this particular, <laughs> um, if you do purchase this, the reason that I wanted to use this was because it actually had flamingos, as you can see right there, it had flamingos on there. Now, what I did was put it on the wrong side, like I basically cut the flamingo off when I did that, and I kind of realized that I did, and I was like... I did not want to do that, but at that point I had already cut it. I was like, whatever, fine. But I just, but I was going to make sure that I mentioned it to you guys that um, I did actually not really pay attention to the fact that I cut the one thing that I wanted, which was the flamingo on there. Anyway, so we're going to go down and use this um, Cami Page Boutique this cutter and what I'm going to do is what I've done here is switched out the uh, the blade so that it can go down lower because I wanted just the smallest cut on the bottom that I could possibly get I didn't want to do I didn't want too much of it coming off of there so once I got that done I popped any of the bubbles and what I did was I put this down and I looked to see this this big decal here okay so it's a it's a big decal and that's why I chose to do the 30 the 30 ounce which was longer I realized that I needed to cut this even more in order to have just that flamingo in that white top part there and can we talk about my pink with uh, the orange leopard that's right next to them here? Um, I got that from my beautiful friend Lacey with the quilted paisley. And she is an amazing artist. She does amazing things. And I, when she showed me that, I was like, I have to have it. Anyways, I just had to take a moment because it's in the shot. And it's so beautiful. So, <laughs> 
I love it. I love it, Lacey. Love you. Anyways, so we're going to take our uh, decal here. And what I'm going to use is the a transfer sheet because it is a quite a large kind of delicate uh, decal. I mean, I wouldn't even, I don't know why I'm saying delicate, but it's a larger decal. So I really wanted to make sure that I got it on there as straight and as clean as possible. So I just went ahead and used some transfer tape, but that's what's awesome about these Alana gift, gift shop uh, decals is that they can withstand, you know, putting them under the transfer tape and everything. I just love buying from her. Uh, I think recently she's got white, uh, backing decals and I'm very excited about that I think I saw something but uh, don't quote me on that but anyways go check her out I have everything linked down below for that and that's where I got this so what I did um, was I didn't want to just leave the back side just plain of course you know I've got to add a little bit of something to it so I went on to Creative Fabrica and I found these mandala whatever you know little deals and they match they somewhat matched the one that's behind the flamingo there it wasn't as like flower like but i just thought that the circles it did have a little bit of that the, those kind of petals coming out the, off the side and so i thought okay this is going to look you know pretty good to match and that way we kind of look like we have a pattern going on here but we're actually creating the pattern and so what I also what you see I did there was I uh, I just flipped them upside down and I do this a lot when I don't print them backwards but if I'm or mirrored I guess you could say but it if the design doesn't matter whether or not it's the one way or the other uh, I just I just put them on there backwards and it's they it always seems to work and be um, a lot better when I do that but anyways it's not a it's not a must and you could do a mirror on them whenever you print them out but I don't do them on Cricut so I just I just print them out and just put them whichever way they're gonna go on there and go from there anyways y'all see me do water slides before but <laughs> I don't know why I felt like I wanted to explain that but that's why I did that. So I used the pattern of like just, I put, I think, five of those larger ones on there. And I, I kind of put them all in the same spot, right? So they it was kind of like a dice shape in the back. And then I thought, I'm not going to just leave it like that. I'm going to put, I'm going to make it look like there's one or two coming up from the bottom. And there was, boom, I did it so fast. <laughs> I guess I, I guess I paused the video and then brought it up. Anyway, it's kind of cool little effect. But I did one at the bottom and one at the top, and that was it. So after sealing all of that in with a coat of Mod Podge and then also a coat of epoxy, I went in with um, my file, and now I can do all any kind of filing that I need because I'm not putting anything that's uh, going to like be clear coming through. So um, it doesn't really matter. We're gonna. We're going to clean it up. We're going to uh, clean up our rim. And um, and then we're going to put on our vinyl. Now, this is just a holographic vinyl that I had in my drawer. Uh, I didn't buy anything special for this. I usually, you know, buy stuff here and there. And then I just keep it in my drawer and then use it for whenever. And it has like a pinky blue kind of purpley tinge to it and so I just thought it would kind of bring out all those colors that are in you know everything that we've got going on here the bottom piece and the flamingo itself and a lot of times you know you don't necessarily have to do the pinstripes but I just like that it adds a little color or it just kind of cleans up those lines ever so much and just kind of gives you just a real finished look in my opinion but if you do if you've got your lines are perfect and straight then by all means you don't have to do this but i just think it adds another little level of you know sophistication and prettiness and all of that so anyways that's why i do it and then after sealing those in i went in with my final coats of epoxy and that was it this is this is absolutely gorgeous with the that glitter underneath it's stunning you will not even know what to, t to do with yourself if you get this glitter everything's linked down below there is a discount for you with bougie glitter paxton 10 um there is also other links for alana's for bamp for creative fabrica all the ones you need also please join my facebook group please um you know like subscribe 
That way you won't miss out on anything that I do. If this does inspire you and you do remake something similar or this exact thing, please tag me on any social media at 321 Cup Designs. And I will see you guys next time. Mm -hmm.